15 pounds of unwanted decorative produce that will go bad within an hour of arrival. Hungry for a strangely warm strawberry? How about a hard green wedge or a slime glazed melon ball? Well, we have all these gross things. Order now and make someone feel guilty about throwing it straight into the trash six hours later. Fruit bouquets, the rotting gift with flies on it. Okay, I'm heading out for ladies' night. There's a casserole in the refrigerator. I'll be home at 11. Hey, Lois. Yeah? How would you find out the name of the actual actress who plays the AT&T chick? I left a list of hot commercial girls on the refrigerator. What is this refrigerator you keep mentioning? Are you talking about the sandwich house? I guess I'm not the only person with a useless husband. I mean, look at Mrs. Butterworth. I still don't understand why we couldn't take my last name. Well, my last name helps keep a roof over our head and pays for your hobby. Hobby? Oh, look at that. My business line is ringing. Hello, lamps that look like soccer balls. Yes? Okay. How many would you like to return? Yeah. Just send them here. Care of Mr. Butterworth. Oh, it's so nice getting out of the house. If I had to change one more diaper, I was going to lose it. I'm in exactly the same boat. I mean, what would her husbands do if they had to change their own diapers? Different boat, Bonnie. Much different boat. Hey, I got an idea. Let's crank call them. Me first. <laughs> You're weak, Cleveland. You're worthless and weak. You found Brown. Hello, Cleveland. This is Michelle Obama. It is? Yes. I received all your letters, and I do like your mustache. Oh, I've been doing all your arm exercises. Thank you, but those won't work on your fat arms. How do you know my arms are fat? I deliberately left them out of all the photos. You're eating a pie on the toilet, aren't you, Cleveland? Who is this? Is this a jerky boy? It's your wife, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have my own show. <laughs> Hello. Hello, is this Joe Swanson? Wait, you can talk normal? What do you mean? Never mind. We're calling from WQHG, Quahog's Hottest Hits, and we'll give you $500 if you can sing Britney Spears' I'm Not a Girl, Not Yet a Woman. You've got 10 seconds to... I'm not a girl, <laughs> not yet a woman. All I need is time. Oh, but you have to be able to walk. Ah, uh, nuts. <laughs> okay, my turn, my turn. Hello, don't say anything about the 1998 Oscars. I'm watching it now. Hello, is this Peter Griffin? If this is the fracking people, I have made it clear that I am 100% on board. No, my name is Rebecca. You've never met me before and probably don't even know I exist, but you're my father. Hello? How'd you get this number? Don't you ever call here again. What the hell? He just got mad and hung up. He what? Why? I don't know. He sounded weird. Like when he was an NFL announcer and had to pretend he cared about the shows after the game. Patriots calling their third and final timeout. Hey, after the game, keep it here for an all-new Madam Secretary. Tonight, Madam Secretary faces an international crisis in Pakistan, while her teenage daughter faces her own crisis, finding a date for the prom. Madam Secretary, tonight on CBS. <sighs> Is this the longest timeout of all time? <laughs> Peter, so, um, anything interesting?